What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. Welcome back to Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment. Uh, I am joined today by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the gray beard himself, Mr. Wildfire One. That's me, the gray beard, getting grayer every day. <laughs> um, we're, you know, we did we did a podcast a while back on this, and we're we're gonna do a, a kind of a review of the trailer of this show we did the podcast on on supernatural and there's recently been news of of another show coming out on the cw uh that's a prequel that talks about the the parents of sam and dean winchester and of course is going to be called what the winchesters the winchesters and we just saw the the commercial the, the trailer's been out for maybe a month or so now uh We've been meaning to do something on that, and we finally just got the time to sit down and do it. We both just watched it. Um, we have a lot of hopes and dreams and uh, uh, in our head for this. I want it to succeed. I don't want it to be boring. It looks like it's going to be comical to some degree, like like the like yeah. like like the, the supernatural was. But what do you think so far, Grizz? What what are your first thoughts on what you saw? Well, like like you said while we were watching the trailer, um, young Mary is hot. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Mm. <laughs> Old Mary, older Mary was a milf too, but like young Mary, I would hump her leg. <laughs> no lie, dude. No, I just like no shame. Just look up at her, pumping away like, love me, take me home. Very very beautiful it sounds to me like mary uh, from what it the, the the show is and i think it was it was also in, in the actual supernatural show itself that mary started off hunting before uh john did and and it's kind of showing that story and how the awkwardness before john was a badass you know before he was negan yeah. it, you know and, and it, it explains um at least from the trailer part is you know, in a sense, he already was a badass. I mean, volunteered to go to war and all that stuff, came back, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he was talking to his mom about needing a purpose in life once yeah. he got back. Saving people and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Happenstance, uh, you know, happened to get in a fight with a demon and then uh, elbow Mary in the mouth and then get his ass beat by a demon. <laughs> Like I said, he's not the badass we know him to be by the time Supernatural happens. But I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. You don't you don't start off as a pro doing anything. So it's really it'll be really fun, in my opinion, to see the plethora of hunts he does, and it's gonna be nice to see the learning process again because it was fun to see it in Supernatural. It, you know, while they were, and it really wasn't a learning process for them, but it was for us. It's gonna be nice to see where a hunter starts and where the hunter become like what the hunter becomes in that aspect. I'm excited. I know I talked to uh, Jay Flo and he said it looked a little boring. I'm gonna to have to disagree. It looks good. It looks like it, it might it be good. There is potential yeah. there. Um, there's potential there, and. And, and honestly, the CW, I know they've been canceling a lot of shows and really kind of fucking up lately. Because uh, I know a lot of shit's canceled already. Yeah. And some of the stuff like, you know, Arrow and and, and stuff like that kind of needed to happen. Uh, no offense to Arrow. I love Arrow, but it just got ridiculous. That, like, like those yeah. shows tend to get. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we have hopes and dreams for for uh the winchesters and it i maybe we're gonna get to see how he got the car because that car you know was john's before it was dean's and it'll be interesting to see how they acquired it now the it starts off with dean narrating i want to i want to touch base on this it starts off with dean narrating and he's leaning against the car and it looks a very similar to the no spoilers ahead to the last episode of supernatural where Dean was in heaven, you know, writing in a book or reading a book or what have you, waiting for his brother to join him. And it was very reminiscent of that to me. I don't know if it was for you, Grizz, because uh, we're trying to figure out what, where in the timeline is this happening? Is this, why would he be doing it in heaven? Like, 
That yeah, makes no because, sense. I mean, he, he's got his parents there. He's got all of his friends there. He's got Sam there. Yeah. So it makes no sense as to why he would be doing it in heaven. Uh, maybe he's searching for his, his dad in heaven? Or maybe he's learning more about his dad at the time? Who knows? Maybe he's maybe his dad is helping him narrate. That would be cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, but um, I know that, that I've seen a, a few things where is a big possibility that um, Castiel will also be making a cameo. Oh, Misha not Collins. Necess- not necessarily in with John and Mary, but they're with Dean. Yeah, because they didn't even know angels existed. But, but I have also heard uh, rumors, uh, because I follow certain individuals on social media, that... Uh, Sam, Dean, and Castiel are all petitioning for another season of Supernatural. <laughs> you know, like, we'll probably do a podcast on Supernatural in the future because uh, it ended and we have to talk about that. Yeah. I'm not going to say the ending of Supernatural was bad. It was actually very heart-wrenching and very good. It was good, in my opinion. It, it, uh, it, it ended, was. It, it was. ended the way I think Supernatural should have ended. Uh mm. But it also ended bittersweet. In the storytelling in it was a little too... It was almost too rushed. Because it had to be. I understand that. But, uh... Yeah, they did leave people wanting more. But honestly, when it when a show does that, it's always good. Like, you don't have... It, sometimes when you bring something back, it's worse. That's all I'm saying. But it'd be nice to see Misha Collins in the Winchesters, you know, doing his angel thing before he became Castiel on, on Earth. I don't know how how I really don't see how that would work as far as storytelling goes in some aspects of the, of the story. Because if you put in things that are like, oh, that'd be a good idea. Let's put let's put Castiel in, and he meets he meets John Winchester, but then he loses his his memory of it. You know that that's cool, but how much can you do that without it being overdone? Yeah, I mean, we're both huge Supernatural fans. Um, oh. We watched it since it oh shit about when it started. Uh, I think we we caught it season two when we first started watching it. Yeah, yeah. And then we just were hooked. Like I, I think I told you about it because my mom got me into it. And then you started watching it, and then we told J Flo, and then we just became supernatural buddies. And J Flo got the fucking tattoo. He got the anti possession tattoo on his chest. We were all supposed to get it, but it didn't work out. And that way. he went and did it on his own. Yeah. <laughs> fucking dickhole what are your hopes that that the winchesters will become what do you hope to see what do you not want to see as well from what i saw in the trailer i don't want it to be a sitcom type you know like supernatural i want it to to show you know like the the history of it if you will you want it to be a dramatic comedy yeah because that's what supernatural was let's face it it was a dramatic comedy Uh, and, and that's what I'm I'm going to be comparing it to, and I'm hoping that they don't go more towards the comedic, you know, comedic part like it was kind of looking like vaguely in the trailer. Uh, you know, I want to see the comedy because it's going to be awkward watching John learn, and it, I you expect that. Um, but it also looked like there was some serious moments, like like in Supernatural. I mean, we we're gonna have our we're gonna have our Episodes like when Dean was scared of everything. You can't. You, I mean, come on, dude. You can't say that wasn't an amazing episode. That was all comedy. And it was great because we watched that one while we were drunk, and that was great. Yes, and that I'll never. That was a beautiful fucking episode, and like it was all comedy. But the the beauty of the of this this, this particular series is this: it can be comedic without making fun of itself yeah and i think that that's what made uh, supernatural so great and i think that's what you're saying to put it in my words uh where you're hoping you're hoping that it can be comedic without making fun of itself in this series in the winchesters much like supernatural because if i was going to say supernatural has a high bar dude it has a high bar and 
in the Winchesters is going to have to meet that bar, succeed it, or go higher than that bar. And that's what we want to see. It's like making a great movie and then making a sequel to it. You want the sequel to at least be as good or better. Yeah. And in most cases, the sequel in real life and movies, the sequel really isn't. There's a few great um, examples that they are, but uh, no. (laughs) Most times, you know, they're not as good as the first movie. So we're hoping... I, and I, I agree with you with that. Um, I don't want it to be all ha ha. I want it to be dramatic and ha ha, but not overly dramatic either. Because if it's overly dramatic, it can be goofy. It's looking like you're we're gonna meet some new characters. What when do you when what timeline would you say this is happening? Like the seventies, from how they're dressed. I I would say like early seventies, late sixties, early seventies. Yeah, I I agree with that. Um, and I kind of like that. It's going to be interesting to see new people. We might even get to see some of the earlier characters, like Bobby, um, and some of the other as a young, as in a young form, which I'm very excited to see. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to see that. To be honest with you, uh, what was that place where they where they all drink beer for hunters? Maggie's. Yeah, Maggie's. I would like to see. I would like to see like the origins of that too, and we might get that in the series. The other thing that I want to touch on is. John's dad just up and disappeared one day. Oh, yeah. It, it does mention that. And Go on. John mentions in the trailer that whenever he was younger, he always believed that there was a monster under his bed. But his dad would always tell him, don't worry, son. I know how to trap it. So now monster. he's got it stuck in his head that his dad was a hunter. So now he's trying to, now that he knows about the world, he's trying to find his dad and Mary is trying to find her dad who has gone missing and as we know Mary's dad her entire family are all hunters mm-hmm as we've seen from the, the supernatural series there's gonna be a lot of lore here and I'm hoping this is what I'm hoping I'm hoping the series doesn't flop yeah because if it flops we're gonna miss out on a lot of inter- a lot of opportunities and a lot of interesting yeah. lore and a lot of a lot of uh, yeah, History, again again though like the story again though winchester writers i'm looking at you this is up to you guys whether it flops or not it's it's up to you guys 100 percent. so I, i'm hoping that you guys do just as good as you did with supernatural put all that love into it because this could be what brings the cw back as far as shows let's face it at this moment what do you got Most of your superhero shows have outlived their time. I, don't get me wrong. I love them. I love the DC shows that you guys put on. But they've outlived their time. There's only so much. Just like just like the Winchester's dying. There's only so much we can see. Before yeah. we're like, ah. Because there's a lot of Supernatural fans out there. And you did it at the right time. Honestly. Because it's not too long after Supernatural went off the air. I don't want it. What I, I what I what I want, and that's pretty much what I want to see. What I don't want to see is bad writing. I don't want to see, and that, again, I, I guess I just said what I don't want to see either. I don't want to see it go off the air and after a, after one season. I don't want. I don't fuck it up. Like what's been most stations' mo for good shows? Netflix. Netflix. Am I wrong? <laughs> Not in the slightest. Uh, but yeah, I'm not. I'll, I'll just say for Netflix, I'll say one thing to prove my point: the Dark Crystal. How many of us were excited for season two? I mean, who knows? It, I mean, it could be another ten years, another thirty years. <laughs> I don't know if I got ten years left in me. These motherfuckers need to hurry up! I waited 40 years to fucking get the Dark Crystal Season 1! And then they fucked, they fucked up. They fucked up. I'm looking at you, Netflix. Uh, but there are good things Netflix is doing, too. To go on a tangent, like, the, the next season of, of Castlevania. Uh, they're doing stuff like that. You know, The Witcher. Tonight, as we're recording this, is going to be the season finale of Stranger Things. Uh, the, the second half of 
Yeah, That's Stranger Sense Four, uh, Season Four. So we're definitely gonna watch that, and you'll you could see a podcast on that here in the near future. Uh, we'll probably do a, a between seasons podcast and talk. We have actually not even probably we have to we have to because yeah, season well, four we definitely will be. Season four has been so good. Uh, from what I see, I like it. It has yeah. potential. There's the potential's there. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I said, J Flow said it'd be boring. It looked boring, but uh, to be honest with you, like. It looked like it would be fun. The characters looked fun. Uh, I can't wait to learn about them, learn more about them. Seeing Dean narrate was very interesting, which, before we end it, let's talk about Jensen Ankles. Ankles? I can't say his last name very well. Yeah. yeah. He's a... Yeah, the guy who plays Dean. Uh, a lot of you know him now from uh, a little show called The Boys on uh, Amazon. Uh, I have never seen The Boys... And I'll never know him from the boys. I, you know, I know, I know that a lot of people are like, "Don't gatekeep." If you're a supernatural fan, I'm not gatekeeping. This isn't me gatekeeping. But if you've seen him on the boys, you liked him. Watch Supernatural. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I guess, I guess, I guess he's doing really good on that show. And goddamn it, I'm, ha- I'm proud of the guy. I'm glad that his his career is moving forward. I would like to see a uh, Pedalecki. Jared. Jared, yeah, Jared Padalecki. Again, if I'm saying mis- mispronouncing his name, I apologize. Because uh, not not everyone can say my last name. Right. I, I I like to see him in more stuff. I guess they're gonna some of them are gonna be on doing like DC stuff in the future, which I'm very excited to see. I recently watched all of uh, I watched all of Smallville in one of the seasons. Jensen, uh, the guy who played Dean, Jensen Ackles, Ackles, whatever. Apologies again. But he uh, he played one of the characters in the show, and he even gets a uh, a mention in the beginning credits. And I'm like, ah! Like the nerd in me was freaking out. Like I'm telling you, if I was a chick, I would be all over that dude. I don't care, dude. I don't fucking. Care. This is 2022. Fuck it. I would sit on my face. I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? Or hashtag sit on wildfires. Um, oh god maybe a little bit but no seriously like that guy I love him as an actor like I just fell in love with him from the show and then I watched I watched him in Smallville and like I fell in love with him in that too but this is what I told Grizz earlier on the phone when we talked about doing this this uh, this review he hasn't aged a day since Smallville and Smallville was what 10 years ago Longer? It was a while ago, but I I watched all of it and like Jesus Christ, he he, and I'm like that's Dean Winchester, you know. I was excited, uh, <laughs> you know. I was like, and I did. I watched it not thinking he'd be in it. I had no idea, so I, I kind of blindly when he was in it, I was like, yeah. Uh, and then he was in it for one season, and then they never mentioned him again. Like he was a big part of it, like prophecy shit going on. And then, like, something happened at the end of the season and no one just remembered him. For no reason. So, I, I, eh, whatever. Smallville reasons. I'm happy to, I just, I'm happy to see him move on, uh, that they're not being, like, typecasted as a certain kind of character. I don't know, I know he plays Soldier Boy in, in, um, The Boys. And I, I, I don't know if he's, like, a really bad character or a good character. Again, I haven't seen it. I get the means to. I don't have the Amazon because I don't, I'm subscribed to way too much shit. And the Wilds uh, wallet can't handle all the bullshit. <laughs> Grizzly last because he knows my feelings. Yep. To give it a rating, nerd boner thing, one to ten, I would definitely give the, what I saw. Just just the trailer. I'd give it a seven, eight, a seven and a half, eight, because there's there's potential. I was I was gonna say a, a, a seven for now, j- just off the trailer. Yeah. Just kind of gauge it through through the first season and and uh, see if it gets better or if it gets worse I guess after the, the first season after we watch it we will definitely be doing a podcast on that and yeah. uh, be giving you an updated version of our nerd boners and mm-hmm. tell you uh, what we think especially you just have to go from there you guys viewing this what did you think what did you what what do you hope to see like we said what do you hope not to see uh, definitely put that in the comment section below us down there somewhere and always remember this 
A first season takes a little bit of time to get it straight. Not everything is as lucky as Supernatural Season 1. And if you're just watching this and you've never seen Supernatural, get your ass on Netflix right now. Start that damn season. Like, it may or may not be for you because it's different strokes for different folks. Definitely get on there and check it out because it's worth it. And we're judging you for not watching it yet. <laughs> Anything you wish to add to this, Mr. Grizzly? You know, we we appreciate the comments you guys give. Um, good, bad, or indifferent. Hey, you're still watching our content. You're still leaving your input. We love the input. Good, bad, or indifferent. If you feel so inclined, leave a like. Uh, subscribe. I don't know. Hit the bell. You know, if you, if you come back and you... You said it. Walked our you stuff. said you know what's coming. You said it. Yeah. Say it again. You know, hit the bell. Hit, hit, hit the bell. <laughs> I bought that. I don't get it. I bought that for that reason. And I know it hurt their okay. ears, so I stopped. But, like, I haven't used it for, like, a season or two. And I'm like, fuck that. It needs yeah. to be used. It needs to be used. I, I paid money on Amazon for that fucker. Okay, <laughs> it's just sitting there, and you said that. I looked at the bell. I'm like, it needs to be used. So, and what he said is true. We do like your input. We good, bad, or indifferent. Um, you know, uh, we're you know, as, as long honestly, as long as you're not being a dick. You know, just uh, for for those of you in uh, uh, the butthole of the United States, it's gonna be hotter than shit this summer because it already is. We uh, already had a heat wave. wave. Yeah, uh, for for the last uh, what uh, good good two and a half almost three weeks it's been triple digit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We we appreciate everything when you guys stop by. Whether it's five of you, fifty of you, five hundred of you, we always appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Uh, it's been a while since you've seen our beautiful faces. Uh, it's mostly been gameplays and stuff uh, between the seasons, but. Uh, depending on how life goes, we may be back in October. That's the plan. But things have been kind of happening for me. Things might happen that might make the podcast be a little later. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, life stuff happens, as we always preach. Life is a thing, and we are nerdworking nerds. Anything you want to proclaim? Do you want to proclaim your love to Jensen Ingles like I did? I, I'm more of a... a... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I love them both. <laughs> yeah, like, I, love, I them. love them both. I love them equally. I love them equally. Can't have one without the other. I, I've I've liked watching Sam since his name was Dean in Gilmore Girls back in the day. Oh, Don't I forgot. Good fucking show. I forgot you said that on the phone earlier. Yes, and it's funny that his name was Dean. I wonder, like, if Jensen Ankles' name in the uh, is is uh, soap opera that he was in. It would be funny if he was Sam. Wouldn't that be great? I don't. I I don't know. I don't know the character that he played, but I know he was in a soap opera. I don't even know which one. Judge me if you will. I just not a fan of soap operas. Uh, you know, I'm I, I'm not gonna sit. I'm not that old to the point where I'm wa I'm watching my stories. I'm not doing that. I'm cool. <laughs> Well, in this, thanks for watching, guys. Till then, I was always, like we always say at the end of our videos, stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. always.